in Psalm 90 it says this is that our years on this earth are 70 years 70 years is life on this earth and anything above 70 is bonus so if you listen to your parents if you were eating your broccolis if you were not eating a lot of sugar if you were not taking a lot of Red Bulls God says you know what you're probably gonna live up to 80 but like if you were messing around really bad with your parents you know eating not eating your green uh, green vegetables and just drinking a lot of sugar and all this stuff God's like 70 is gonna be the top now do, do the math let's do the math how many years are you as a teenager 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 how many seven. how many seven. what is seven out of 70 seven. come on let's I know the school is over <laughs> so seven out of seven is what ten what ten percent watch this your teenage years are the ten percent of your life your teenage years are your tithe to God God wants you to give your teenage years the same way as you give tithe completely to God your teenage years have to be given to God the same way your tithe is given to God. If you keep your teenage years for dating, fornicating, just partying and just for yourself, it's the same thing as you're taking your tithe and you're not giving it to God but you're going to watch Spider-Man. God wants us to take our tithe and to give it to Him. Why? Because so that the rest of the 90% will be blessed. God wants us to take our teenage years and give them 100% to God. Why? So that the rest of the 60 or 70 years will be blessed by Him. Can somebody say Amen? Your teenage years are tied to God. So watch this. God comes to Adam and God puts him to sleep. And while Adam is sleeping, he's under uh, this thing. God is working on him like a doctor. I had two eye surgeries. And in both of the times when I had eye surgery, the doctor was not working on me until he put me to sleep. When he put me to sleep, he didn't kill me. When he put me to sleep, I was in a coma, but I was knocked out. I don't remember anything that was happening. The only thing I remember is I woke up hours later. It felt like an eternity. I woke up hours later and I like I opened my eyes and I felt like something was different about me now. It was not, it was not the same thing and I found out that the surgery was over. See when you're a teenager God wants to put you to a sexual sleep where you close your eyes and God starts working on you. There are some things God will never be able to work on you until you're sexually asleep. What does that mean sexually asleep? You stop looking for somebody to date. You stop looking for somebody to love you. You stop looking. As long as there is a teen attached to your age, God wants you to go to sleep. Another reason God wants you to sleep. Why do you sleep at night? Why do you rest at night? To recharge. Why? So when you wake up, why? So you can have energy for what? For the day. So when you wake up, you can have energy for? For the day. What if I would tell you, God wants you as a teenager to be sexually asleep. So when it's your time to get married, you can have energy for your marriage. What if I would tell you, God wants you to say all of your kisses and all of your hangouts and all of your roses and all of your ah oh, you're so sweet you're so fine you're so great what if I would tell you God wants you to save all of that and not throw that away but to say hey why don't you date your mate instead of date somebody in high school why don't you have your best dating romance and all of that in your marriage instead of having it in high school with people whose names you will never remember when you get married and then when you get married you and your spouse will be like mm, grumpy old not fun not exciting why but the days in high school the party time oh that was fun because you were awake at night and now you're sleeping during the day many marriages don't date couples they get married and their marriage is like an arrangement their marriage there's no fun there there's no excitement there there's no guys no longer open the doors they don't bring flowers there there's none of that you know where all of that exists in high school with people whose names you don't remember and the person you gave your heart to the person that you said I'm, I'm the, you are that for me that person gets nothing why does that person gets nothing because the night time was supposed to be a time where you recharge for the day for your soulmate for the person you're going to spend the rest of your life the problem is most of us during the night which is our teenage years we go party we go having fun and then when we get married we go uh, uh, uh. oh that's you still married to you okay oh man my life is boring 
you're boring and you're kind of ugly you gain some pounds our life sucks we don't we go on a date to what we can't afford to and all this stuff and you look at you like man i did not marry for that why does that happen in our generation why is the old romantic couples are in high school in college and when they get married it's all dull predictable boring could it be that the marriage is supposed to have energy but we wasted it on teenage years with people we will never ever spend our life with <laughs>